Hello, dear viewers and subscribers of the Design and Tech Hub YouTube channel. You are welcome to another episode of an amazing video. In this tutorial video, I will show you guys how you can create beautiful and eye-catching battery flyer using the Pixel Lab app on your smartphone. In this tutorial video, you are going to learn some manipulative tricks you can use your Pixel app for, like a uh, manipulation of image into background and many more but before we dive into the video if you are new to this youtube channel do where to click on the subscribe button and put on the notification bell to get the file whenever i upload new and amazing content and as for the returning viewers thank you i really appreciate without any further ado let's dive into the video So yeah, when you open your Pixel app app, this is the first interviews which will be displayed. So now the first thing we have to do is to import our background. Remember, in my past videos, I've been saying this, to import your background, if you want your background quality to be sustained, use this three dot here, click on that, then use image from gallery. Let's browse for the background we want to use. So I will click on the background. So this is the background we'll be using in creating the body flyer. So the next thing after importing the background is to import is to import the celebrant image. So I will have to click on the plus icon here, then click on from gallery. So, I will have to browse for the image. Then I will select the image. So, as you can see, this is the image. I'm not using the full image like this, so I'm going to crop out some part of the image like this. So, yeah, here, here is the image. So, I'm going to increase this a little bit, then place it like this. So the next thing I'm going to be doing is the blending of the image, the blending of the celebrant image into the background. So here is how to blend in image into the background, listing and listing here attentively. So you click on shape here, increase the width of the shape, increase it to fit in for the screen. Once you increase it to fit in for the screen, move to gradient. Here where we have gradient, this black and white gradient, you, you click on it, then you click on the plus icon. Once you click on the plus icon, you click on this, on this, you click on this, you click on it, then you click on this color icon, click on the color icon. Then the last, you can see here we have three lines here. The last line here, slide this, slide, slide it down. Then we click on OK. So here we have, we have white. Click on it. Then click on the color icon. Then we are going to be using the color selector to select the red image from uh, the background we are using. Then we click on the check mark here. Then like this, click on OK. So here is that about that. You click on OK. Looking at this is not okay enough, so let's move this a little bit. So you can see that that is the blending, but we are not done with it. So make sure the shape is selected, so you scroll down to texture, click on texture, then you have to click on the gallery icon. Then the background will use earlier. Click on the background. You select the background. Then you are going to crop out the part. This part. You crop out the 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 down part. The the below part. You crop it out like this. Then you click on the check mark icon. So for this to fit in. Let's try and rotate this a little bit. So 
so you can see you can see that you can you can see how i've just manipulate at this how i've just blend in the image into the background i'll be putting a tutorial where i explain in details how you can do the manipulation how you can blend in image into the background so after blending this to the background we are going to import another celebrant image So this is the celebrant image. So as you can see, the image has been imported. So now we'll place the image. We'll place it here. We'll place the image here. We'll increase this a little bit. Let's increase this a little bit. Then we'll place it here. Then this is going to be standing here. This is going to be standing here like this. So let's lock all this to the screen interface. So after I've imported all the celebrant image, after I've imported it and do the blending of the image into the background. So the next thing I'm going to be importing the happy birthday png image all the resources i'm using in this uh, tutorial will be the link to it will be placed in the video description so you can download them from the video description so this i'm going to place this i'm going to place it here so as you can see so now the next thing is to uh, put the date of the name of the celebrant rather. So I'm going to create the test for the name of the celebrant. Change the font. The name of the font we'll be using for this is Jagele Black Italic. So let's increase the size for this. Then we are going to place it here. Then the next thing is to create a wish. So you just place your wish. Then we are going to change the font for this as well. So as well, we'll be using Jagali. So we'll reduce the size for this a little bit. Then change the alignment to center alignment. So as you can see this, let's uh, bring this, let's bring this down a little bit. Then reduce the size for this a little bit. So like this, we'll be placing a test here. Change the font. Then I'm going to be re reducing the size for this and then increasing the spacing. I 
and place this at the center so just like this you can see this this is just how you can create within some few minutes you can create a simple and a beautiful by the flyer so when you want to save your design as i've been saying in my past videos when you want to save your design once you click on the save icon here click on save as image make sure to change this to from jpg to png then you change from the word to ultra for dimension then you save to gallery saving your design as this will make the uh, quality to be will, will make your design to have good quality please if you find this video helpful you find it inspiring for your next design don't forget to like comment and uh, comment your question if you have any question let me know in the comment section i will answer i will, I will answer your question and that uh, thanks uh, like and share across to your friend Thanks for watching.